Ohio Health is the official sports medicine provider of Northmore High School. Available 24-7 to care for your athletes with same-day appointment options. We keep your athletes healthy and in the game. Ohio Health is proud to partner with Northmore High School to provide a healthier community. We are healthcare experts close to home, serving teams, parents, and all of Morrow County. Ohio Health. Believe in we. The 2020-21 high school basketball season gets underway tonight with girls basketball action live from the castle on the campus of Northmore High School in North Bloomfield Township. It's the Northmore Lady Knights against the Colonel Crawford Lady Eagles. Hello, everybody. My name is Travis Berardi alongside Northmore boys coach Blade Tackett. and We will take a momentary break for the national anthem. Just about ready to go here from the castle at Northmore High School. And Coach Tackett, um, it's opening night. What's Coach telling the team before coming out here? Uh, I think the first is just, uh, you know, to enjoy the moment because uh, I think at any moment, at any time, any day, any moment, this all could be over. So just enjoy the opportunity to compete, to play really hard because, you know, given our situation with the pandemic and everything going on in society, the chance that we have to tip off some high school sports, that's a good night. So enjoy the night, have fun, compete hard. I think that's what both coaches are saying. So we will pull up the starting lineups. First for the homestanding Northmore Golden Knights, led by head coach Freddie Beachy. Sophomore guard Emily Zager, a junior wing Number five, Paige Caudill. 
a sophomore wing 5'4", number 21, Riley Johnson, a sophomore post 5'9", number 23, Emily Jordan, and a junior wing 5'10", a name that we know from volleyball, number 32, Lexi Wenger, and one, I guess you could say sickness for Northmore. It's not COVID, but she's still out. Reagan Swihart out tonight for the Golden Knights. Yeah, I think both teams are missing, uh, if not a couple key starters, definitely a couple key players. Reagan Swihart Jr. Uh, would have been a third-year starter for him this year. She's got, um, and to be honest, I don't believe it's anything COVID-related. I think she's just got an other illness that she's trying to get over, other sickness, and uh, she'll be back on the floor shortly. And Colonel Crawford missing a key player, it looks like, tonight, and uh, Teresa Dugan. Yeah, she had um, who's a three-year letter winner, it looks like, and uh, uh, a great player for them and a great guard for them as well. Yeah, she averaged 5.9 points per game last year, 2.4 assists, 2.3 steals, and we are underway from the castle. The first tip of the 2020-21 season, and that's won by the Eagles. Kaylin Risner. Over the Teglovic, Allison Teglovic, it's going to stay with Crawford. She averaged 16 points per game last year, 30% from beyond the arc, 21 of 69, 7.3 rebounds per game. She pretty much did everything yeah, last year. She, yeah, she's a great player all around. Works really hard, rebounds really well, good shooter. She's going to have a great year this year. Risner, once again the Teglovic. Pull up from just inside the arc. No good. Northmore with a rebound. And it'll be Zager across midcourt. Just underway here. Ball nearly stolen. Stays with Northmore. That's going to be a foul on Risner, her first. But a fairly young squad Northmore has this year, Coach. Yeah, I, I, I would tend to agree with that without without Reagan in. Um, I would say, in a, I think Caldell started and played a little bit last year. Um, I know Haley Dilly's, uh, uh doesn't look like she's on the floor tonight either and has some varsity experience. So the, with the people on the floor, yeah, definitely a young team. Um, by the looks of who they have, they all play very hard. Talented team, but definitely led by Lexi Wanger. Rebound off the miss. It goes to Northmore, but they stepped, stepped on the line. Bounce. That's going to be their second turnover of the game. Risner with it, right side, three ball for Pana Plesek, no good. They'll go out of bounds, and now it'll go to Northmore. So nice no little score. set there from Colonel Crawford. I think, uh, yeah, she fell down, probably could have got an easier look at that. Still stood up and got a wide open shot. Um, but possession goes back to Northmore. So both teams, I mean, first minutes of the screen. season, feeling each other out. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Got to get the jitters out. Lexi Wanger with a foul. Straight to the line by Lexi. Foul will go. That's on Jenna Maddy. Jenna Maddy. Yeah. Nice little set there from Northmore, getting Lexi off a triple screen. I think we'll see a lot of that tonight. She's their uh, you know, main scorer, main player. I bet they set a lot of screens for her. Coach Beach, she's real good, real good at running sets. Makes one of two. Northmore with a one nothing lead. Quickly down the other end, another miss. And Northmore with the rebound, quickly back out. But yet another turnover. That's her third. Maddie gets it inside the Teglovic. She's fouled. 
She'll go to the line for two. Let's take a look at the replay. So Teglovic to the line. Misses the first. That was on Wenger. That was her first. Second one up, no good as well. So it remains one nothing. About five and a half left here in the first quarter. Uh. Right side, three ball, Call air ball. Nice. Out of bounds, and that'll go back to Crawford. A full court press from Northmore here. Easily weaves through it. Risner, top of the key. Left side to Hawker. Drives oh, it nice in, layup, baseline. no oh, good. Rebound no good, another rebound. Somehow stays in. Top the key, banks it in. Jenna Matty banking it in. Take the look at the replay. Right in the block. Colonel Crawford doing a good job on the offensive glass early. Oh, nice screen and roll right there for Paige Caldell. A good pass, good pass. Nice little set there for Northmore. Get Paige Caldell a layup. Back quickly on the other end, put back good. Maddie getting another quick bucket, has all five of the Eagles points. And that's going to be a travel. So 5-3, about halfway through this opening quarter. And now we're going to have a timeout. So, Coach, a little bit of a sloppy play on one side for Northmore. The other end, Crawford really unable to get the ball in the bucket until the last minute. Yeah, I think both teams probably, you know, first night, both teams playing really hard. Offensive execution from both sides, not as great as probably Coach Beachy and Coach Fenner would like. Uh, but I think that's to be expected uh, from the first game. So, and I mean, you know, Northmore got a good look with their set and got a layup. Uh, Crawford's points have come more from a little bit of loose ball action, a little bit of offensive rebounds. So, um I suppose as we go on here, the, the offensive side will, will clean up a little bit as they get more comfortable with the game and get into a flow. As Crawford sets up a little box set here. Could you, I mean, with COVID and everything, not being able to play in the summer, does that, you know, play into this right now? I, I believe it does. And I think even with uh, our boys team as we scrimmage this year, Every time we go back and look at the tape and break down the tape, we're telling each other, we're telling ourselves, our, our uh, assistant coaches and I, that now we got to remember that we didn't even get a chance to play this summer. And after we lost a really good senior class in the group that we have, is really Johnson takes it two and misses. Um, that, uh, you know, we got to take everything. Um, we got to travel with Crawford. Uh, we got to we got to observe everything from that lens that we have a new group of kids that haven't played together in a long time and uh, we didn't get a summer other than some open gyms and some practices so I think that has a huge impact and as I'm sure it does with these girls as well. Yeah it's just I mean the complexion of the whole season has just been changed you do get a couple scrimmages but I mean it, it's probably going to take teams a couple games at least to get a feel of what they have. Yeah yeah I completely agree with that. Um, and just to get back to the speed of the game, and you know, I don't, I don't know what Crawford's scrimmage looks like. I think our Northmore girls got two scrimmages in, um, and even if you did scrimmage, you may not have had all of your girls or all of your players. So um, the opportunity to play is great. Um, 
but yeah, you may not get everything that you want right away. Another ran a turnover. Nice set there. Would have liked one of them to take one of those shots. Risner resetting the offense. This is a neat matchup right here between Lexi and their point guard. Oh, up she switched back. Lexi back on Teglovic. That's also a nice matchup. We're gonna have a bump. Foul called. Now they're gonna call an offensive foul. That'll an be offensive called foul on, on uh, Horner. Looks like. Yep. So on the screen, called the bump. And Northmore with possession. Trailing by two here with about two and a half left in the opening quarter. Emily Jordan tries the lob, gets it. The Wenger. Wenger drives it and gets it. Lexi. Yeah, she's going to have to look to score about every time she catches it. She's got the most experience out there. So tied at five. Teglovic takes it to the hole, misses it. Rebound Northmore. Nice take by Teglovic there. Just got a finish, kick ahead to Riley Johnson. Fumbled a little bit, Crawford's coming back the other way. Turnover number five for Northmore. We're gonna have a foul on the floor. Paige Caudell called with the foul. Team second. Mallory please sack puts it up, no good. And it'll go to Northmore. I'd like to welcome everybody watching live and free on our YouTube and Facebook channels. We are the home of Northmore basketball for the boys and girls. We're very excited about that. Another, Another turnover. turnover by Northmore. And looks like Teglovic's going to finish that one, yeah. Yeah, I don't foresee her missing many more layups inside. Missed one or two early, but uh, yeah, she's a nice player. Oh, nice drive by Ziggler here. And they're going to call a travel. Turnover number seven for Northmore here in the first hat, first quarter. For a young team, um, you know, I know that they're happy with seven turnovers, but seven turnovers and only down two. I think you just uh, take that with a little bit of confidence and, uh, you know, try to coach them up and settle them down a little bit. They're going to have some turnovers for such a young team. I think they can work through it. Run a little one, two, two here from Northmore. Change it up a little bit. Nice ball movement by Crawford, though. And that's what you have to do. You have to s switch the court pretty much to get an open shot, and that's what they get. With Ziggler out, looks like Lexi's going to run the one. Takes it to the hole, and she's going to be fouled. I think that's going to be on Wenger. This might be her second. It is. So that's her second foul with 6.5 seconds left here. She has all five points.
So please sec to the line. First shot, no good. Crawford 0 of 3 from the line to start here. Second one good. Three at the buzzer, no good. And that'll do it for the first quarter after one. Your score, Colonel Crawford 10, Northmore 5. We'll be back live and free on the OH Report. Ohio Health is the official sports medicine provider of Northmore High School. We keep your athletes healthy and in the game. Available to care for your athlete with same-day appointment options. Ohio Health. Believe in we. Back at the castle, Northmore ball to start here, trailing 10 to five. Yeah, coming out of the quarter, you expect a, a set here, maybe for Lexi, maybe something to get an easy bucket as she drives, kicks to Emily Jordan. Over to Caldell, Caldell for three, just a hair short. And out of bounds, so Crawford will get its first possession here of the second quarter, up 10-5. Northmore going to switch up defenses again. Going to another zone. Oh, looking to trap up top. Teglevic going to work inside. Nice pass. Please sack up and in. Let's take a look at the replay. She gets the ball fake to get her up in the air and puts it in. Yeah, that's exactly what you want against the 1-3-1. One, one. Attack inside. Look for the backside block. Right back down, nice layup no good. Nice defense by Caldell. That was a nice shot by Paige Caldell, sprinting back, going straight up on defense. That's back to Northmore possession, good job by her. Riley Less. Johnson. Just off. Down with the rebounds. Crawford, she has one ahead of her. No oh, good. Oh, again, Paige Caldwell sprint down the floor with a nice defensive stop. Two possessions in a row. Saving four points. And that'll be a foul. Brooke Dennison with her first foul. Jenna Maddie back to the line. First free throw, no good. So the shooting woes from behind the line continue for Crawford. And I know as a coach, it's frustrating. Yeah, that's one thing you want to do consistently on a nightly basis. You want to shoot free throws as well. That's a, typically uh, something you can point to at the end of the game. To, um, but, you know, Crawford's given North more chance to stay in it here. Not shooting well from the line. Could be a different game if they were up to this point. Still only an eight-point game for North Moore. Have a good possession here, and, uh, you know, I think they're in a pretty good spot. Three ball up. Back iron no good. Rebound to Crawford. 
So they're getting looks, it's just they're not falling right now. Yeah. Yeah, they've got some good shots to start of the second quarter here. Three Take ball on the other end. Got it. Good. So Teglovic for three. Northmore looking the answer. Down 11. And Northmore is going to call a timeout. Coach Beachy not liking what he sees. That wasn't a terrible possession by them. I didn't get many ball reversals, but you know they had, I kind of like a long possession on offense. Um, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but you know, as you pass it back and forth from wing to point, uh, he's probably going to set up a little set here, see if we can get an easy bucket. That's what they need. Let's get a couple screens, get an easy bucket. You're back within 10 points, and you're okay. You're okay. Just trying to settle these girls down. Let's yeah, get a good have, look here. You have plenty of time. I mean, there's half of the second quarter, and then you have the whole yeah, second sure. half to make adjustments. Sure. So you just it, It's a game of runs. Yeah, absolutely. And like you said, they've had good looks couple good looks this quarter already that just sit and fall. <coughs> Keep getting those looks and they eventually uh, the averages will turn around a few of those will go in. A little one four high set. Let's see what we can draw up. Double for Lexi. She's got to look to score. And they're going to call a travel on her. Ooh. Pulling out the old picket fence from Hoosiers there. <laughs> Don't get caught watching the paint dry. Two classic lines. Sorry, folks, you're going to be hearing that a lot from me this year. <laughs> That's good defense from Lexi, but she's got to be careful. She's got two fouls. Oh, I take that back. They, they turn it back to one. I thought maybe the ref uh, maybe changed it to 23 on that last foul, but I wasn't sure. I'm interested in what the book has. So that'd be Emily Jordan getting her first foul. Box set from Colonel Crawford. Looking at the post. Hawker looking inside. She's going to take it herself. Air balls it. Oh. Off the head of a Northmore defender. Crawford oh, with a couple defense. chances. And they still have possession. Another, Another offensive, offensive rebound. rebound, and then they're going to get a push. That's going to go against Crawford. Crawford definitely winning the offensive rebound battle here. That's a, you know, along with free throws, add offensive rebounds to the list of things coaches look at halftime, end of game. Kind of tell us tell the story of the game. That fell on Jenna Matty, her second. So right now as a coach, second foul, not too bad here, but if she gets her third, she's in trouble for at least the first half. Yeah, Lexi Wanger with a nice move. Oh, just barely out. Looks like it's going to be Northmore. Yeah, uh, a lot of times a player gets a second foul and you look to sub them right away. I think, um, you know, especially in recent years, you kind of judge how the mood of the game is going. You don't really want to take out one of your great players, um, which is a foul situation if you can kind of coach them too. Be smart and not get it, not get an easy third. So, um, you know, depending on the situation, the pace of the game, and how things are going, uh, you know, I'm all, sometimes I'm okay with not subbing after two fouls. Oh, I think you got to hit Wanger there. She's got a girl on her back. Zager. There she now they it. got her. There we go. Kick out to Ziggler for three. Just off the mark, but that was a good pass. The extra yeah. pass. Oh, we got a jump ball out of that. And it's going Crawford's way. But yeah, you know, she could have, you know, muscled her way to the bucket, but she found the open person at the top of the key. Yeah. It was a high percentage shot, just a little off. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a great kick. Anytime you get a three point that comes from the inside of the paint to the outside, I think you got to take the three. Quickly down Crawford, coast to coast shot, no good. Offensive rebound, put back, got it. Oh, 
Who else but Teglovic for two? 18 to five, Crawford leads. Northmore's just gotta break the ice here at some point. They're not getting bad looks, just can't get anything to fall. Brooke Dennison at the top of the key. Left side, three, no good. Rebound, out of bounds, it'll stay with Northmore. So a lucky break there. As the Lady Eagles trying to get their first points of the second quarter. Oh, we got a foul. We'll see who that's on. I think it was Teglovic. I think it's only her first, though. Yep, that is her first, team fifth. Lady Knights with the inbounds. Classic pick to picker inbound. Open look for three, in and out. And once again, Crawford unable to get the rebound. I like how Northmore is battling on the offensive glass. Got some threes up, crash the glass. We always tell our guys, treat, especially our you know, our scrappy guys treat a, treat a three like a pass. Go get the offensive glass. Nearly lost it there. And it is stolen and a foul. Foul go on Wenger and that'll be her second. Both teams with five fouls, 2.54 left here in the opening half. Yeah, that's a, that's a tough one for Northmore. Um, again, I think if you're Coach Beachy and you're looking at a 13 point lead, I think about just maybe getting her a break so the refs uh, kind of forget her about it a little bit and see if she can get her back in and score a little bit here at the end of the half. But if Northmore can keep it close, without her and get some good looks, then, then it's not a bad sub. We're gonna have a foul on Ali Hawker. A push underneath. That'll be the sixth foul. Gold Knights in the bonus. Next foul. And thrown away again. Looking for the lob just a little entrance. too much. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it was a bad look. They had to hand up the um, Brinkman was in there. Had good positioning, just just a little high on the pass. But Crawford gives it right back. So once again, Northmore with a chance, possibly with a three to cut it to ten. Bradley Johnson, Johnson for three. Set her short again. And once again, right away. Crawford yeah. unable to corral it. It's a 13 point lead. They haven't scored yet. And still, as a coach, I'm not panicking yet because you're, you're still in the game. It's only a 13 point game. You're getting some stops. You're still forcing Crawford to turn it over a little bit. I think you stay positive, get these young girls settled down. Eventually that ball's gonna go in. Oh, I'm throwing away again. 10th turnover for Northmore. Left side three, no good, rebound. Still on the ground, and that's kicked, so it'll go to Northmore. Both teams on both ends doing a great job crashing the offensive glass.
Emily Jordan hits a shot. There it is, the first points of the second quarter. It's an 11 point game. Jordan's first points of the night. Northmore going back to a 1 2 2 defense. Nice hands by Riley there. Good defender, Riley Johnson. Super active, very quick. Her and her sister. Have a substitution. Golden Knights. Zager comes back in. I mean, for Northmore now, you get a stop in a bucket, single digits going into the half. Yeah, I. I I'm honestly not panicking at all if I'm Northmore. The half could have went a lot better. The game's still within reach. It's good defense there. Almost been a black ball. By my statistics, that's the ninth offensive rebound for, for Crawford today. They got good size, good strength. They're doing a nice job crashing the glass. 50 seconds left here in the half. Teglovic. Riser drives in. I think walks. she's going to get a travel call. Yeah. Turnover number six. So Northmore, they get that stop now. Chance to get some more points on the board. Wonder what they're going to do here. Might what be would beneficial. You do? I'd probably take the last shot. Go in the half, down 11. You only scored two in the second quarter, but you know your best player is on a bench in foul trouble. Take the last shot here. See what you can get, go down 11 and make some adjustments at halftime. Riley Johnson is going to take the three, though. It's a good rebound. Good pass. <laughs> Paige three Caldwell ball. going for three. Nope. Misses. Crawford, Crawford with a chance. Another offensive rebound. She does get it off. No good. Misses. So that'll do it for the first half. Your score after 16 minutes. Colonel Crawford 18, Northmore 7. We're going to take a break and we will be back with some statistics and halftime talk. You're watching High School Basketball live and free on the OH Report. Ohio Health is the official sports medicine provider of Northmore High School. Available 24-7 to care for your athletes with same-day appointment options. We keep your athletes healthy and in the game. Ohio Health is proud to partner with Northmore High School to provide a healthier community. We are healthcare experts close to home, serving teams, parents, and all of Morrow County. Ohio Health. Believe in we.
halftime at the Castle. Your score, Colonel Crawford, 18. Northmore, 7. Travis Berardi alongside Northmore Boys basketball coach Blade Tackett. And let's take a look at the first half stats. Field goals, 5 for Crawford, 4 for Northmore. The difference there, two threes by Colonel Crawford. Def offense offensive rebounds going 9-2 to two in favor of Crawford. Crawford just a little bit bigger underneath and a little bit more physical right now. Yeah, yeah, they definitely have the advantage on the offensive glass. I think Northmore get a little more physical inside, get a couple more box outs. Um, but again, to have 10 offensive rebounds and the, the turnovers, turnovers and the offensive struggles with Northmore and only be down 11, um, I think I think you got to be okay with that. Just take what you can get, make some halftime adjustments, hopefully on the offensive end, box out on the defensive end, and we're going to have ourselves a basketball game here. And then on the defensive side, nine rebounds for Crawford, eight for Northmore. Free throws, Crawford three of seven, Northmore one of two. This could be a little bit more of a ballooned out lead for Crawford if they can just hit their free throws. Yeah, definitely. Uh, uh, Colonel Crawford struggling at the free throw line has helped Northmore. And you'd like to see that flip a little bit. Northmore maybe get a little more aggressive. Those passes inside at the post. You know, catch him with strength. Get a look at the basket, see if he can get a foul and get to the free throw line. So, I, just about to be ready honest, to go Travis, back. I, th I think uh, both teams missing a couple of their players here is, is definitely impacting. Especially Northmore on the offensive end with uh, Reagan, a three, you know, who will, will be a three-time starter, and uh, even Crawford, you know, another another guard, and in Teresa Dugan, who's um, you know quick, good ball handler, good shooter, and uh, same thing for Reagan. I think both of those two missing from each team has really impacted them, and you know, missing them, it changes their offensive play style a little bit, changes the continuity and the flow a little bit, um, but that is the times that we're living in, so. Uh, we'll see what kind of adjustments each coach made at halftime. Two really good coaches here, and Coach Peachy and Coach Fenner. Um, so I'm, I'm interested to see this. Changing things up to the boys' side. You guys have a game at Pleasant coming up uh, day after Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah, we do. For now, for now. We take everything a day at a time. But, you know, I hope we can make it to that game. I hope we can travel to Pleasant. That is a triple header for us. We're super excited. The guys have just worked their tails off and, Given everything that's going on, I just give them a ton of credit for really practicing hard every day. We've had three great scrimmages, and I think we're lucky. You know, we're one of the luckier teams to have played three scrimmages already against three, to be honest, very good opponents. And so, and we got another one, another good opponent coming in on Tuesday. That's going to help prepare us for that pleasant game on Saturday. As Lexi drives and gets a bucket. So the perfect start for Northmore out of the half. Yeah, Langer gets two, and it's now a nine-point game. Yeah, that's a great start for them as they didn't score in the first, you know, seven and a half minutes of the second quarter. They score within the first minute of the third. That's that's a good confidence builder there. On the other side, Crawford with another offensive rebound. Nearly turned it over. Drive by Reisner. And yeah, that's going to be on the floor. Looks like it might be Emily Jordan's second foul. Yeah, she really wasn't in position. If she would have had her feet planted, that could have been a charge. Yeah, yeah, I completely agree. We love taking charges, as any high school basketball coach does. That's one thing you typically hear shelling from the sidelines. Step up, get run over. But Crawford's on the winning end of that as they get a wide open three. And another offensive rebound. That's number 11 of the game. Yeah, it looks like Northmore's in a 2-3 zone. Um, maybe forcing Crawford to shoot a little bit. One of the hardest things to do in his zone, though, is box out and go get this rebound, especially on the backside. Three's coming up. You got to box out on the backside. Another open look for Maddie. No good off the top of the backboard, and it'll go to the Golden Knights. Yeah, I think that one, honestly, uh, Emily Jordan down there had great positioning. So even if it doesn't go out of bounds, I think she gets that rebound. So Good news for Northmore here. Scores on the first possession. Has a chance to score again here before Crawford does. Wenger with seven points for the Knights. 
18 yeah. to nine, your score. Yeah, she's got it. They got to look at her, and she's got to look to score. That's, That's going to be a foul. That's going to be three free throws. Take a look at the replay. Eh, just a little too late on it, but yeah, didn't allow her to land before she tried the box out. When you have a player like uh, Lexi Wenger, there's two good things. One, she's a really good scorer, and two, when she catches it, defense is going to focus on her. So she does a nice job there, catching, hitting a relocation for a three. Free throw, no good. For Dennison, her first attempt of the night. Second shot up, no good. So the free throw woes continue. Third free throw around the rim. Yeah, it's the shooters, Todd Shara and Brooke Dennison breaking the ice a little bit. Freshman start in the second half. I think that's going to do, you know, even though it's one for three, I think that's going to help her with her confidence. Northmore switching up the defense again. Got a little one, three, one half court. Gets a tip. And a walk. And so they get the turnover. Northmore so doing life. a good job keeping them uh, Crawford on their toes, really switching up defenses a lot here. Going a little one, three, one half court. Golden Knights down eight. Just underway here, third quarter. They're on a 3 0 run. Looking for more. Wenger gets it over to Johnson. Just looks like uh, Brooke Dennison for three missed. Just looked like a little continuous pick and roll offense there from Northmore. Ball thrown in. Knocked out of bounds, it'll stay with Crawford. 5.19 left here, third quarter. Golden Knights, the lone three points of the quarter so far, they're down eight. Yeah, they're hanging in there, which is exactly what they need to do. As long as you have a chance to win in the fourth quarter, and you've done what you had to do. And this was a close one to start off the year last year, yeah. Northmore won. Yeah, always a good one to start off with CC. Uh, you would know you played for Crawford. Yeah, I played for Crawford. You know, just a great community, great high school, just like Northmore. It's just so exciting to be in a district that is a lot like the one I graduated from as Allison Teglovic hits another jump shot. But, yeah, I mean, you take what you can get from this COVID stuff, but you would have loved to see what this opening night could have looked like. These two communities get together. It's, um, it's always a great experience. To think back to our game last year, or just opening night last year for Northmore Crawford, and then our game as well. It's always so much fun when these two communities come together. A foul yeah. on Wenger. It's her third. I know. That's tough. That's definitely tough for Northmore. It looks like they're going to sub her out. Yep, and they're going to leave her in. And I think at this moment, you kind of have to. You're down 10. She's kind of the spark plug sure. for this offense. Sure. You got to take a chance. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I think you take your chances with her in. Tell her to be smart. Uh, you know, no reaching fouls. No fouls on a rebound. Just be disciplined on defense that, um, so that she has an opportunity to score on offense. And not only that, she's a leader on the floor. That's a three-year. You know, it's her third year starting. She's the leader they need to keep them in this game. That foul on Zager, her first, team's third. Please sack, barely gets it to Reisner. Got to watch out for Riley Johnson. She's quick. She'll get some hands on the ball. Might be able to get a steal here. Got to go straight up. It's good defense. It was also good ball movement by Crawford yeah, to get it into the post. Yeah. Look ahead to Paige. Oh, she caught it. Look at that. Nice finish. Nice look. Nice pass. Nice finish. And I know you like the transition buckets. I know for the boys' <laughs> side, but that looked pretty for them. Oh, no. Crawford comes right back with the same thing. Kick ahead for a layup. Yeah. Yeah, we like to get pressure on the defense early. Not necessarily taking a quick shot. But if we get the ball down the floor... 
get a kick head down the floor, put pressure on them early, make a move a little bit. We think that can lead to an efficient shot. Northmore Another Northmore turnover. Ball, air nice ball. Nice out by Wenger on the backside there. And that's what the Golden Knights need to do. I mean, so many offensive rebounds already by Crawford. They're in 11 right now. Yeah. But that's what you just have to get a good box out on them. That's right. That's right. Transition, half court, get a body on someone. Crawford putting up the pressure a little bit. Riley Johnson breaks a press up ahead to Zigger. Nice finish by Emily Zigger. Nice pass by Riley Johnson. And back comes Crawford again, but Northmore starting to get something going on offense. Yeah, they're finding a little bit of a flow, especially in transition. I think that's what you got to do. Crawford's a physical team. When they set up their half-court defense, I think they're hard to score against. But And if you get yeah. them running, you can wear them down, get them that's out right. of their game. Sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because that one's airballed and... Worth more with another chance. Sure. Here's where they got to figure out where they're walking up, allow Crawford to set up their defense. Um, but Coach Beachy, he's got a handful of sets. I know. Let's see if we can get another, uh, another good look here for the Northmore Knights. I think in a half court, you just have to get the ball to Lexi Wanger, whether it's inside or her popping out for a jump shot. That's a good job. That's a good nice kick. kick. See what happens. That's a nice Off shot by Paige Cardell. She's got to be okay with that. Coach Beachy's got to be okay with that shot. Got it to your best player. Defensive collapses. Get it for a nice kick out. This is going to be his bucket. Oh, nice hustle. Nice hustle by Crawford. Kicking out of bounds. Take a look at that. The, just the hustle by Hawker. Just to come up and strip it out right the last second. Yeah, I got to love to see it. Got to love to see it, especially after a turnover. Picking your teammates up by sprinting back and saving a layup. She continues to play good defense with a tip there. Riley Johnson with the elbow jumper. A miss. Nice ball movement up for, I think, a long two. No good, but the offensive rebound. Northmore getting in on the offensive rebound action. She's got to get a touch. Yeah. And it's stripped away. Good run through by Riley. And Northmore comes right back with it. And Northmore's going to get it. So some good hustle plays on both sides yeah, of the ball right now. Absolutely. Absolutely. Both teams. Some scrappy offensive plays leading, you think, for some easy buckets down the other end, but both teams doing a good job hustling back, getting a hand on it, getting some deflections. 133 left, third quarter. Colonel Crawford leading Northmore 22 14. Oh, nice back screen. It's a nice job. Lauren Johnson. Looks like she subbed in for a sister here. Similar players. Both got a nice jump shot. She, that one's short, though. Nice box out by Colonel Crawford. And as a coach, you like to see that. You like. You box everybody out and let the ball just bounce <laughs> until it goes out of bounds. You know the hustle that they're having. I feel like that's a drill in practice. Put up a shot, everyone box out, let the ball hit it a couple of times before you go get it. That's good fundamentals. Timeout, Colonel Crawford. And we are going to take one with him. You're watching High School Basketball live and free on the OH Report. Ohio Health is the official sports medicine provider of Northmore High School. We keep your athletes healthy and in the game. Available to care for your athlete with same day appointment options. Ohio Health. Believe in we. Back here at Northmore. Just under a minute left here in the third quarter. Crawford leading 
the defending sectional champions, as you saw from that banner on the wall. Swish. Reisner getting in on the action finally. That's got to feel good. She's uh, She's been a nice player them, for them for several years. Uh, to get a make in, well, that's going to help with her going into the fourth quarter. Back on the other end, a two no good. Rebounded by Crawford. Quickly ahead, and the layup falls. So Teglovic in the double digits. And just like that, out of the timeout, a quick five points for Crawford. Yeah, Northmore got a quick shot there and uh, led to an easy bucket on the, on, uh, on the other end for Crawford. At the buzzer. At the buzzer. Oh, off the no good. No good. So your score after three, Colonel Crawford 27, Northmore 14. You're watching High School Basketball live and free on the OH Report. Ohio Health is the official sports medicine provider of Northmore High School. We keep your athletes healthy and in the game. Available to care for your athlete with same day appointment options. Ohio Health, believe in we. Fourth quarter, just about to start here from the castle. As you see the 11 sectional championships by the Lady Knights. This game last year, Crawford won 47-43. Northmore did a good job there. You know, I was a little worried with them starting in the zone, being down 13, but I like the fact that they trapped right out of the get-go. Try to speed Crawford up a little bit here. Definitely got to keep that defensive pressure up to try to lead to some easy buckets on the other side. Uh, no, Kyle Fenner won a ton of games in her career. So she's going to be patient on offense in this fourth quarter, as you can see. Going to get the shot that they want. It's good defense there by Lexi, though. Multiple times, Northmore's been just about a foot away from getting a steal. And it turns into a Crawford bucket, however. Yeah. Please sack again. Northmore with a pretty good possession there defensively, and unfortunately just leads to a layup for Crawford, but you know, it made Crawford work for it. They're going to be patient. There's going to be long possessions like that. Got to try to finish those possessions. Lauren Johnson for three. Comes up short. Have to sprint back here. Can't be giving up layups. Oh, and a wide open Teglovic for two. She has 13, and that's a timeout for the Golden Knights. We're going to stay here. So after Northmore cutting it to eight, a 7-0 run, actually a 9-0 run now for Crawford, has him up 31-14. Yeah, that's tough. Uh, uh, like I said, I think a good possession to start for Northmore. Uh, didn't probably get what they wanted offensively, and, uh, man, just giving up that layup in transition, um, that, that's going to be tough. They're going to have... You're going to have to increase the pressure and try to limit the good shots for Crawford, which is always tough to do in the fourth quarter, especially when you're down by a little bit and you're trying to get some uh, scores on offense. Teglovic, the leading scorer last year, 16 points per game, free throw percentage of 78%. That's not bad for high school. 30% from beyond the arc, 21 of 69, a 45% total field goal percentage, which is really good. Yeah. 7.3 rebounds per game and 2.5 assists per game. Pretty much does everything. Yeah, she's an all-around great player, offensively and defensively. And, uh, yeah, you like you like that we're here, and she has a chance to play out her senior year and just to see uh, the kind of success that she can have this year. 
the Lady Eagles 15 and 8 last year, 9 and 7 in the Northern 10. That was fifth place. They lost in the sectional final to Carey, 49-32. Golden Knights last year, 13 and 10, 6 and 8 in the K-MAC, fifth place. They defeated Harvest Prep here, 42-38 in the sectional final, before falling the Newark Catholic in the district semi, 44-16. Lady Knights desperately need, need a bucket here. And a double dribble, so a turnover. Crawford will take over. Up 17 with 6.08 left. Crawford going with the full court, or Northmore going with the full court press, rather. I think it's, I think you just have to at this point. Now down yeah. 17 and need to really try to get a steal and an easy layup and work this full court press a little bit. But it's going to be tough. I mean, uh, you know, one thing that I would say Crawford has an advantage with, if you look at their roster, they got, um, you know, four or five seniors, all multiple letter winners. Northmore's going to play hard and play tough, but you know you got one senior on the uh, one senior on the roster and not dressing yet, um, so you know they're going to play hard. And then yet another out with a sinus infection as well. That's as right. Northmore does get the turnover. That's a good defensive possession. Really needs something on the offensive end here. And something that's hurt Northmore tonight, the inability to score from beyond the arc. Yeah, yeah, they haven't shot a well from three. I don't know that I don't know that they've made one, have they? They have not. Yeah. Crawford up ahead. Taglovic. Taglovic out again. Can't get it to fall. Puts it back in Inho. Fifteen for Taglovic. It's thirty-three fourteen. Coming up on five minutes left. And that'll be a jump ball. It'll stay with the Lady Knights. Coach Beachy with the timeout. It's a full one, and we'll take it with them. You're watching high school... Basketball live and free on the OH Report. Ohio Health is the official sports medicine provider of Northmore High School. We keep your athletes healthy and in the game. Available to care for your athlete with same day appointment options. Ohio Health, believe in we. Back at the castle, five minutes left, 33-14, Colonel Crawford. And Layup shot, nice good, and a foul. Let's see. They've really been trying to get her inside. I, I think uh, you got to get the ball in her hands outside and let her let her be the kind of athlete and the basketball player that she is, just like they did there. Nine points for Wenger. Really like Looking. this free throw to go in so they can set up a full court press here. See if they can Got put, it. There we go. Put some pressure on Crawford. Cut her off. Looking for a trap. That might be offensive. Yep. It is. So a little bit of life for the Golden Knights. I think you got to take it out. I think Lexi's got to be the point. I think she's got to look to score. Yeah. 
Reisner, her second foul. A little bit of a frustration foul there. I mean, pretty good defense. Oh, gave and it now right we're going to legal pick. Give it right back. That's unfortunate. Have a final from our other OH Report game tonight from Crestview High School. Waynedale defeats Crestview 49-38. Our tip-off doubleheader to kick off the 2020-21 high school basketball season. Looking like uh, it's going to be a post-ISO for Tegelvik. Yep. And they're going to call a push. We used to call that stagger back in the day, Travis. It's an old uh, Coach Sheldon play. <laughs> oh, who doesn't love David Sheldon? Great guy. <laughs> Absolutely. Great guy. Great coach. Uh, Always has yeah, a towel. A lot from him. Yeah, yeah, the signature towel. Nice play there from Crawford on the inbounds, too. Give two more for Police. Nice she has ahead. nine. Looks like she rushed the rush layup a little bit there. Nice look by Northmore. Just like to see her square up. A great hustle by Wenger. Tip it out of bounds. 4-11 left here. 35-17 your score. So what do you think of your first night being color commentary? Ah. <laughs> uh. I don't know. I think I could get a lot better. Maybe I'll get some more opportunities this year. But I'm sure, I'm sure there's people out there that'll tell me exactly how good I did. I just got a text from an old coach of mine, and he's typically pretty honest with me about uh, any of my performances, whether it was basketball or uh, you know, work for him as well. So life in general. So he's probably mad that I gave that you know that set credit to Coach Sheldon. He's going to tell me later that that was his set stagger. <laughs> So that's one thing to look forward to. That's going to be a foul, and that might be five on Wenger. And it is. That's tough. I, I was pretty light, but it's a tough way to foul out. Yeah. Uh, she's definitely frustrated. Uh, Got to give her a lot of credit, though. She's, she played hard. Regardless of her foul situation, I think on both both ends she played extremely hard, and uh, I just didn't go her way with the you know, with the calls. Uh, you know that one probably didn't have to be called, but nice pass, nice pass, a nice finish there. Corner for two. It's 39-17. I think you're at the point now where you just you got to see your girls play hard to the end. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. See if we can get some good possessions on offense, play hard on defense, and uh, get some things on tape so they can uh, learn and get better you know, for the next game. Just under three minutes left now in regulation. Nice, nice drive there by Riley. Another three ball no good. Reisner brings it the other way. Like. Coast to coast, and it's 41-17. Five points for Reisner. That'll be a foul. Please sack her first. Team fourth. And the starters now coming out for both sides. Get those JV players some valuable playing time here at the varsity level. Yeah, sure. And you never know what you're going to find here at the end of the quarter. Um, you might get a spark from uh, one of these players off the bench that you can uh, use to help you out for the next game. Especially early on here, game number one. You never know. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Now 
That'll be a walk. 154 left in the game. Colonel Crawford well on the way to 1-0. I think Northmore's got a lot of upside here. They got a lot of young players, and as the year goes on, they get more experience. Um, I think they got just a tremendous amount of potential. And with two of their main players out, some of these other players that don't get to see a lot of playing time, getting a lot of playing time sure. now for you, sure. it? Sure, it's only going to benefit them as the season goes on. And I think Colonel Crawford, if you look at their roster and the, the amount of letter winners that they have coming back and the girls they have, I think they're looking for a great season. So you got a veteran team here um, that's looking for a lot of success this year in the N10. And uh, yeah, I think Northmore competed hard. They're going to compete hard here for the last minute 20. You can guarantee that. So like I said, get some things on film. You get better. Another illegal block. It's on Jordan, her third. You know, in this game was pretty much two big runs by Crawford. That second quarter, they really stretched it out, and then right at the end of the third quarter, beginning of the fourth. Sure. You take those two away, and it's been a pretty even game. Yeah, yeah. yeah Northmore really struggled to score in the second quarter. If they could have got a go. And to be honest, Crawford didn't really score at a high rate in the second quarter either. So you look at that, they could have got a couple buckets in the second quarter and kept it close. But, yeah, Crawford in the third quarter stretching out with some transition points. Corner with the bucket. Nice take by Ziger and a nice finish. Back on the other end, Ziger with two. Nice open look there, gets the friendly roll, and Hawker's on the board. Hoker. Under 30 seconds left. That Crawford bringing it out. Probably expect them to run the clock out here. Less than 10 seconds left now, and yeah, they're just going to pass it around. And that will do it. Your final score, Colonel Crawford 45, Northmore 19. We're going to take a break and hopefully be back with Allison Teglovic for an interview, our player of the game. That, as long as stats and more, we'll be back. You're watching High School Basketball live and free on the OH Report. Ohio Health is the official sports medicine provider of Northmore High School. Available 24-7 to care for your athletes with same-day appointment options. We keep your athletes healthy and in the game. Ohio Health is proud to partner with Northmore High School to provide a healthier community. We are healthcare experts close to home, serving teams, parents, and all of Morrow County. Ohio Health, believe in we.
Final score from the castle on the campus of Northmore High School. Colonel Crawford, 45, Northmore, 19. Travis Berardi back here with Blade Tackett as we take a look at the final stats. Although I got to give our graphics guy, Adam Thompson, some props. This looks like, this looks like something off of N NBA Jams. Oh, it's amazing. I love this, the stats. It's thing. amazing. I asked yeah. you before the game where they found that night at. It's looking like something that's going to be on a T-shirt for me later on. There you go. Maybe we'll start selling those. <laughs> <laughs> All right. To the final stats, field goals 18-9 to nine in favor of Colonel Crawford. They have three threes, Northmore none. 13 offensive rebounds to four to Northmore. That was a big stat tonight. Yeah, you always look at offensive rebounds at the end of the game. Offensive rebounds, turnovers. You know, I know Northmore struggled from three, but uh, like I said, this is a young team. Those will eventually fall. You definitely want to figure out the, the rebounding situation as you go forward, though. Uh, 11 defensive rebounds. That should say 11. 18 for Crawford. Crawford, 31 total. 15 total for Northmore. Lady Knights, 3 of 6 from the line. Lady Eagles, 5 of 9. So, Blade, uh, what's your thoughts of these teams after game one? I know both of these teams, a lot of improvement coming on, but that, that goes with the season. Sure, sure. I think my biggest thought is uh, um, you take the preseason that you got where we don't know how many of these players have actually been at practice consistently. You take the summer that you had, and you, you take that all in, and you just realize – um, it wasn't very sharp offensively, but that's probably something that we'll expect from a lot of girls' basketball teams, a lot of boys' basketball teams, especially early on in the season. Yeah, you, you compare it to the NFL where they didn't get a preseason, a lot of those games early on, they're just trying to figure out what their identity is, figure out what the role players are, figure out you know, who's going to score from them, who's, what's, what defense is going to work out. So I think you take all of that into account. You just realize both teams, uh, you know, they're going to be able to improve a lot over the season. Um, and they get all their players back in that practice, and I think there's a lot of upside for both squads. Looking ahead, uh, our next, I believe our next broadcast will be here one week from Tuesday when your boys take on Johnstown Monroe. Just a little preview of that one. Yeah, Johnny's coming in into town. They just have uh, a great program and a great team. Um, I think it's going to be um, a good night for, for us in a whole, but uh, it's going to be a triple header, freshman, JV, and varsity, and I think uh, all of them, they're going to be competitive. You know, to be honest, their, their varsity team didn't even get to finish their season last year, I believe. They were either regionals or uh, regional finals. Um, they came out of the Central District, one of the teams that came out of the Central District, and so I know they're going to be hungry because uh, the season didn't end, you know, the way that they wanted to, but um, I really believe we're going to be competitive. Yeah, we're going to be prepared. Um, we're going to have uh, a plan put together for – I'm trying to think of their point – I'm trying to filibuster here as I think of their point guard's name, who is an all-out well, point guard I think guard your boys heard us because they're up here now. Yeah, yeah as we see Cooper and Dustin here. And uh, we'll definitely be looking at Cooper Keene in a week to uh, defend that all-state point guard. That, uh, that'll, be, that'll be something to look forward to. So your final score once again, 45-19 in favor of – Colonel Crawford over the Golden Knights. I'd like to thank everything, everybody, for putting everything together tonight. Storm Blunchley behind the camera did a great job. Adam Thompson back at the studio doing all the great graphics. Like I said, it looked like something off of NBA Jams. It was pretty cool. Uh, I'd like to thank my not-so-long-anymore rookie <laughs> play tactic for thank a job well done tonight. Yeah, thanks for having me. I had a lot of fun. Um, it's just like we tell our guys, we go back and review the tape. I'll get on YouTube, see what I can do better, take right. some notes, and you know, maybe we'll do this again sometime. And uh, it's been a lot of fun. I appreciate, appreciate you having me. It was fun having you. Yeah. And to let you know, the player of the game tonight was Allison Teglovic, 17 points. She still in the locker room, so we'll let her get ready to get on the bus and everything. But congratulations to Allison, our player of the game tonight. Also want to thank Northmore place we're going to be I think they have a cot I think they built a little room for me because I've been here so much as it is but I'm going to be here for the rest at least of the winter season with the boys and girls basketball yeah. teams it's going to be exciting to watch how you guys do as well but that'll wrap it up here from Northmore High School your final score one more time Colonel Crawford 45 Northmore 19 good night everybody